Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky, and welcome back to more Traps and Gemstones. So last time, it was the beginning, the very first episode, and we made some pretty decent progress for it being one episode. Anyways, this time, we're going to be going down this thing. It's going to be a very long shaft going down. That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. So anyways, basically you control by going left or right in here. First off, there's a secret over here. If you jump to the left side and avoid the spikes, the spikes eventually disappear, and it reveals a secret. This leads to a secret chamber, this one. Which contains, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can tell pretty easily. It contains a secret symbol right over here. And also, I don't know if it contains anything else. No, it doesn't. I'll just take the coins then. And be on my way. Alright. Just make these jumps, you know. Don't fail here. Anyways. Um, yeah, so these spikes, again, they disappear. Now, if you land on them from here, though, they will not disappear and they will hit you. So it's not, it's not that they're fake spikes. Is that they disappear if you land on safe ground first. Anyways, over here you want to head to the right side, I believe. Actually, no, I'm, I could be wrong. Might be the left side. Yeah, it's the left side. To come over here to a secret area. And this leads to, well, this thing. And, um, oh, oh, you could do that. That's cool. I didn't know that. You could roll onto them. Alright, there's a key there. And there's, um, a chest over here. Which contains uh, a relic, of course. I mean, every single chest in this game contains a relic. Like, the chest that require keys. The big blue chest. The smaller chest, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know if they're a chest, but they're more like boxes. Those contain items or... Well, just items, actually. Oh, shoot, I'm dead. I'm dead, y'all. Damn it. The good news is that I spawned over here so I can just get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Yeah. Well, what the hell? Oh, you can break these? Or whatever you... Alright. Relic, I mean not relic, uh, secret symbol over there. And, oh shoot. So there's still another secret, and that's this one. And here you want to be very, very quick. I didn't, dude, I didn't make it. What the hell? What the hell, man? Alright, whatever. See, the thing is, it's kind of weird with, oh shoot, yeah, see? It really is weird. Because I don't have enough forward momentum. I really don't. That's weird. Hold on. See, this feels better. This honestly feels a lot better. I guess, um... Yeah, look at this. Look at this garbage. Well, I did it. I mean, I guess the developers didn't really make the controllers on par with the touch for that. Because, no, you can't do it. I was literally doing it as best as I could, and I can't do it with the controller. I could not do it. Well, then, I guess it's time to... Okay, back to the controller. Here we go. So anyway, there's a secret over here, somewhere. Wait, there isn't? What the hell? Wait a minute. Where did it go? What? There was a secret somewhere, what the hell? Wait a minute, was it higher up? It probably was. I screwed up with that. And it doesn't even matter though, because it's not actually a, like a, a required secret. Yeah, so who cares? Who cares? Let's fall down, and this leads to a room with a freaking giant scorpion on there, okay. And, let's see, don't release the scorpion, it may be the very last- oh shoot, really? The, it may be the very last thing you'll do, interesting. Um, okay, you are freaking cheating, seriously? Okay, get the hell over here, no, 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 don't you dare. Jump, jump again. So you gotta hit this guy three times, or if you have the gun, uh, two times. And yes, there is a gun in this game. The only thing is, I haven't gotten it yet. Anyways, this leads to... Where the hell does this lead? Okay, I'm in a different area. I shouldn't be here yet. Okay, this is the scorpion room, though. Just keep that in mind. This is the scorpion room. So anyways... Oh, chest. A tomb. Interesting. Okay. So, this place... Oh, wait, wait a minute. New item. This place is, well, basically a giant Donkey Kong Country stage. But barrels freaking everywhere, seriously. And, no, don't go down, man. Our goal here is, well, there's multiple ways to go to. First off, there's a secret way over... Where was it? No, not there. It's, um, down here, maybe left, I think? Yeah, left. This takes us this way, and this leads to, uh... Do I have the relic? Yes, I do. I have the relic. Let's place it, and this leads to a secret. Now, we're going to be coming back to this room multiple times for various reasons. But for now, this is fine. 
that that uh, barrel I call them barrels leads back up there to the kind of the entrance point of the left side of this room but this place leads down here to a secret symbol and a key and a lot of coins and there's also a secret down here so that way it's closed off we cannot enter that place from this side so we're gonna have to find a way to get around this okay some spiders in here interesting well we're at the very bottom yeah we are so let's just explore I know it's getting confusing the pyramid but it will eventually all link link back and tie back together so don't worry about that even if you're confused in the beginning do not worry it will all be linked up the entire pyramid you will know like oh this way leads to this way or something so in here you want to basically time this well this one has two so one two fall run and yeah that's pretty much it this one contains three and then, this, and then this next one, if you're trying to follow a pattern, they're trying to trick you and you would think that it would be four, but it's actually five of them. And jump. Alright, there we go. So this leads to kind of the very bottom of the pyramid, the extreme bottom. Look at this. Extreme bottom. And over here there is a secret, I believe. This one. Yes, there is. There's another secret chamber and this one leads to a bunch of gems and whatever, but one secret symbol. Again, I don't care about the whole gem stuff, who cares? Because if you die, which I know I'm going to be dying multiple times, it resets, so who cares? I guess that score is only for the pros of this game, you know, when they want to go for the highest score possible. Alright, there's some bats there, but they're not hostile. They're just standing there. Okay, Lost Relic. Now, there's no secret here. No, I thought there was. Alright, there we go. That is another relic. And let's see here, nope. No secrets on there. So this basically leads back up here. We kind of looped around and that's all that there was. A relic and a secret chamber with a secret rel uh, secret symbol, sorry. So in this room, you know the pathway to the left side. That's where we came from. It's that place that's closed off. So the only way to go would be over here and there's some spiders. You gotta be careful here. You gotta be very careful here. These guys take three hits from the whip. Difficult enemies, I must say. Hmm, now I could just come over here then. And they will always move in the location that they're looking at. So, keep that in mind. Okay, this room contains another secret chamber. First things first, you want to of course destroy this guy. And um, I clearly have to destroy him, what the hell am I doing? Okay. This is a rather difficult jump. What you want to do is jump but not hit your head on this. If you hit your head on this when you jump, you're going to fall down to the cannon. What I found out is that rolling usually works fairly well. You want to roll and then time well jump. So here we go. Nope. Too late. Yeah, if you jump too late, you're going to fall. If you jump too early, you're going to hit your head on the thing. And you, um, you're um, you not going to make it. The good news is that the way back around is actually really quick. All you have to do is jump down like this. Kill like two enemies maybe. Yeah, these two. One two and then try it again so here we go so again ro dude get up there and oh, damn it see I unlocked it but damn it did it make it that's the problem okay we can do this come on there we go did it okay this takes us to a secret chamber and um, although it looks difficult the room it's actually not just wait for the next platform to move and just move on to it move right move to the right side and there it's really that simple. Okay. And here's a secret symbol. Alright. The hell? That thing is not getting up. That's weird. Shoot. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Try again. It's actually a shortcut back. Haha, <laughs> cheater. I'm a cheater, right? Not really. Okay. Gotta kill this mummy once again. And now that we're at the very bottom, what I'm gonna do is go back to the room in which we were. Because there are still plenty of things we want to do at the very top, so... Basically, we're going to be seeing a bunch of things here, but I'm going to be skipping them all. Because this pyramid is freaking huge. I mean, look at that. There's a secret symbol there. Some more secrets and pedestals over there, but I'm not going to be doing it yet. Easy chest right there. Actually, you know what? I'll get the chest, because you never know when I could use this, maybe. Dude, go... Oh, freaking... Dude, go back down. Thank you. Okay. Just get the chest, because it's really simple to get. 
And you never know if this if this relic can actually be useful in the, you know, like the upper stages where I'm gonna be going. So I don't have to backtrack too much. But anyways, go up. So we should be very close to where we were. Somewhere up, I think two more, maybe two more up. Yeah, so let me see. Um, We were up higher, up there. I think right... Wait, did I go to this one? Yes, I did, right? What the hell? Hold on. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, this room. Okay. That's fine. Now this room over here leads to... What does it lead to? Oh, I could go this way too, because it's a shortcut basically to the other way. Yeah, I could do that. Let's do it. This place, see? Shortcut unlocked, which means I can just take this pathway instead of going down the other room, even though it doesn't really matter, but... Oh well. I mean, the reason why I came back here is because there's one more room we haven't explored, and that's the top left. We went down the top, I mean the bottom left, and that was basically a huge room. Like a huge pathway of rooms, going downhill. But anyways, this room contains these spears, and you want to, of course, jump quickly before they fall off. Over here, tap this switch which basically unlocks a pathway to a key and then over here we want to roll down actually we don't want to roll down I'm so dumb you don't want to roll down right there instead simply walk don't jump this contains a key okay now we have to fall yet again Jesus so much freaking redoing all right and now go over here to this side and over here there is let me see oh this thing well, we can't go here because we don't have the proper equipment, the proper tool to break those things, so... We have to skip it here. You want to jump over the first spear. To not get hit, of course. And then simply jump, but not too fast. Don't get hit. Alright. This leads to an automatic shooting room, I guess. Oh, shoot. Don't do not do there. Oh, damn it. Wait, is there a secret? No, there isn't. Going, going. Oh, man, that almost hit me. Okay. This room leads to the, the key. But you want to hit the switch at the bottom first to uh, basically make these blue blocks disappear. And then... Alright, a snake over there. Um, hmm. I think I want to go this way first, maybe? I don't know. Let me see. Alright, so in here, we want to... Let me see. I got it. Don't break the pot. Hit this thing first to make it fall. And... Wait, what the hell? Oh, shoot make it fall and that basically opens up this one which means you can get the secret symbol and the key as well okay oh look at you you're freaking mean right you look mean all right all done in this room pretty simple over here there's a new thing what could this be this is the gun oh yeah the powerful gun this gun is the fourth item in the game and basically it's a very powerful powerful weapon it does more base damage than the whip, but not only that, it can penetrate enemies. Look at that. Bam. But the downside is that you only get five shots, or six, sorry, per ammunition gain. So, you always want to be able to recast. Alright, there's a secret over here. And this one leads to another secret chamber, of course, as always. A couple moments here, so you gotta kill them. Alright, cool. Done. I'm out of ammo. I really am. Oh well, not that it matters anymore because I already got through the mummies. And actually, I believe over here there's, um, yeah, more ammo. This. More ammo. So in here you want to shoot the pot. This one. Shoot the pot. That way the switch is not pressed. And you can obtain this chest. Which of course contains another relic. Let's go ahead and see it. There we go. Relic obtained. And let's move up. There we go. So, um, I think we're going to be looping back around very soon. Hint, jumping isn't always the solution. Very true. And here you want to roll. If you jump, you're not going to make it. Alright, freaking snake here. And here you want to roll and then jump as well. Although I kind of suck right there. Hold on. Ooh, key. I want it. Give me the key. The key. There we go. See? Roll and jump basically gives you more of a boost. And we're all done in this room as well. And this loops back around to this side, which means that we're all done with exploring this side. 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, shoot. I didn't see that. Alright, alright, fine. Um, wait, how do I get there, though? What the hell? That's weird. I can't... Hmm. How do I... Dude, I can't even make the jump. I can't make the jump, man. I freaking suck. There we go. Okay, this is good enough. Just break the pot. That way, basically... Wait. Oh, no, wait. This, sorry. Hold on, what? Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. What the hell was I thinking? Damn it. I gotta read... God damn it, I'm scoring up here so much. Hold on. You actually need the pot to go back, too. What the hell? I did not know that. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's one of the very few things I hate about this game. Especially if you're going for a high score. I have been killed that way. Wait a minute. Why is it closed this time? What? This doesn't make any sense. Did it just glitch? I swear it just glitched. Hmm. Yeah, I think it glitched because there was nothing on it. Okay, it just happened again. See that? The enemies spawn when you're approaching them, which is kind of annoying. And even more so annoying for people who are actually trying to get the highest score. And if they end up dying like that, that sucks so much. Anyways, this basically reveals a shortcut going back. And we're all done exploring this side, with the exception of that one room which we can't break at the moment, the, the little blocks. So anyways, I'm going to be taking this pathway all the way back down. I mean, you've already seen this before, I, I could just cut, but... Eh, whatever. It's fine. I'll just keep spamming roll to make it go quicker. And it shouldn't be too difficult, you know? Look at that. Look at that. Alright, so let's see. This pathway leads to the other room, which we need the compass. And we don't have it at the moment, so... We have to go towards this way. There we go, and down, jump. Roll. Sweet. Okay, now let me see. I could go down that way once again, because that's going to loop back around. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, take this thing back down. The other way is not efficient. It's really not. Alright, so let me see here. Because I swear there was a freaking secret somewhere. This is weird. There was a secret way in which she could go. Maybe it was up here. It was. It was up here. This is the secret I was talking about. Basically, it loops back down to the bottom. Which is really nice. Oh well. Anyways, um... Let's, um... Well, let's keep going down, of course. So this makes us fall down here, towards this room. I'm not gonna go there. Actually, you know what? I could go there. I'll just go there right now. We're up to 20 minutes, so I could just... Yeah, here's, here's a gun now. Part of the reason why I waited is because I knew that there were gun bullets in here. Alright. And here you want to roll. Roll. Or else you're not going to make it. Uh, let me break this puzzle to see if there's something. Yes, there is. A key. Alright. And now, let's uh, jump again. And this is going to lead to a dead end. This guy will not let you pass. So, you're like, what the hell do I do? Well, we're going to be getting a certain item later gonna be helping out so anyway oh shoot um we're up to the 20 minutes once again jesus not good oh shoot i don't have my gun anymore it's not good i guess i'll just yeah go back like this give me the gun i could use it you never know all right so this room i mean you already know it loops back to this big giant room next time we're gonna take off right from here thank you for watching goodbye everybody and until next time